What's happening guys, Chris VA Travels, and hope you all aren't burned out on South Carolina videos. Uh, yeah, I'm back in Virginia, I'll be here for a while. And I'm out here in Tappahannock, I'm about to visit the Essex County History Museum. I, I saw this place when I did my walk around a few months ago, it, it was closed at the time, but uh, yeah, it's opened back up. And, and yeah, a couple weeks after I, I had done my walk around, there was a big uh, fire in town, and that whole open area is what burned down. And pretty sad. Oh, also, real quick, wanted to give a shout out to a viewer named Jackie. Just wanted to say I appreciate your support. And before I go in, I'm going to finish off my lunch. Uh, <laughs> just to let you know what a uh, vlogger uh, eats. I've uh, got a gas station turkey sandwich. Uh, I usually get egg salad, and they didn't have it this time. Nature Valley Bar. And I uh, always have my Red Bull uh, to perk me up. And don't judge. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to eat this and uh, go inside. All right, here we go. Essex County Museum, established 1996. And here are the hours. All right, made it inside. Just to let you know it's free. That's pretty cool. And we're right off Prince Street. All the main buildings in the area and like i say i made that video about six months ago if you want to check it out i go into detail on a lot of these and yeah the big fire i had mentioned which was right there <laughs> and yeah so here we are prince street it goes down to the uh the river and over here judith broken bro mcguire virginia first lady Granddaughter of signer of the Declaration of Independence, Carter Braxton, and daughter of Tappahannock-born William Brockenborough. He was a Virginia Supreme Court Justice. Clash of Cultures. And yeah, John Smith went up the Rappahannock looking for that, West, that western passage. Made it as far as Fredericksburg, hit the falls, had to turn around. And he stopped... <laughs> And uh, in Rappahannock, and he was uh, chased off by a hostile tribe. <laughs> and Tappahannock means town on the Rappahannock, and Rappahannock is an indigenous word for water that ebbs and flows. So, yeah, ebbing tide. And Fort Lowry, Confederate Defense Force, that was about four miles south of here. And pretty good diorama up here. African-American experience in Essex. And this is a slant top desk. I don't know what that is. But a reading lesson right there. This descended an African-American family believed to have been made by the great-grandfather of the last owner. Emancipation, Reconstruction. Some prominent residents right there, the town council members. And uh, Rappahannock Industrial Academy, high school for black students. And there is Bill Moore, blues musician. And uh, over here, Catherine Green Emy, first African American teacher in a predominantly white Essex County school. And right here, poll tax list, 1935. And yeah, there's a naval ship, the USS Tappahannock. There's the Riverside Hotel right down the street. And uh, it's where the condominiums sit now. And there it is in the center, getting fueled up on that carrier. And the Happy Tappy, all right. And she launched near Philadelphia in 1942, headed south to the Panama Canal Zone. Beans, bullets, and black oil. All right, so saw some action in the Korean War. And, you, of course, you can pause it at any time to read more. Order of the Golden Dragon. A destroyer. Bell from the DeShields Ferry. 
Okay, there's the De Shields Ferry up there. Steamboats on the Rappahannock. Uh, the first experimental run of the Rappahannock to Fredericksburg was in 1828. That was the Patuxent. Two years later, the steamboat Rappahannock was built. Um, she ran once a week from Fredericksburg up to Baltimore. Down here, some jumbo peanuts. Desk chair. Doesn't look all that comfortable, but uh, pretty cool. <laughs> A floating theater. The James Adams Floating Theater. Be an interesting experience. Yeah. Showboats. And the Bowler's Rock. This was the only uh, lighthouse on the Rappahannock. Built 1868. And it was destroyed by ice in 1918. Some fancy hats. And here's a deck log. 67, 68. Final cruise of the Tappahannock. Taken out of commission in 1966. And it's the same picture it looks like fueling up. Happy Tappy Tattler. Alright, so it looks like 97, I mean 1970 was decommissioned and sold for scrapping. Alright, going back, uh, the origins of slavery, uh, there's lynching, and the period after slavery ended actually might have been worse than slavery. Um, <laughs> Wheatland. Baptist Church, Loretto, and uh, William Breedlove, the first elected black official, Essex County. Robert Cawthorn. And over here, uh, service flag, the Blue Star Banner. And uh, shaped, uh, shaped in a V for victory, 51 stars. And some Dr. Pepper and some Barks uh, root beer bottles. Oh, and this is when the uh, the, the Downing Bridge opened, crossing over to the Northern Neck, 1927, and that kind of put a help uh, to well, kind of put an end to the old old uh, steamboat industry. Pretty good model of the Tappahannock. A bunch of signal flags here. And a uh, pretty fancy wedding dress. I don't see a write up about it, but uh, there's Robert Taliaferro, pronounced Tolliver, the most famous statesman in Essex County. I don't remember hearing about him. Font Hill. And yeah, I know these three, Thomas Ritchie, Spencer Rune, William Brokenbro. And here's a Confederate bond, 1862. And this guy, Hunter, he helped uh, persuade the Confederacy to move the capital to Richmond from Alabama. This is pretty old, 1654. There's George. Cap and ball smoothbore pistols replaced the earlier flintlocks. And here's some bullet molds right here. That's pretty neat. And all your typical uh, artifact, all your shards. Uh, that was that emblem symbolized uh, King George III, the GR. You see that a lot. And this Archibald Ritchie. <laughs> 
He was the father of the Thomas Ritchie, and he was a loyalist, meaning he was loyal to Britain during the Revolutionary War, or, all, or, or the period leading up to it. And he supported the tap, tap, uh, Stamp Act, which obviously wasn't popular. And the story that I heard, uh, a mob broke out, and he was tarred and feathered. <laughs> uh, and that was right around the corner. Pretty cool old China mug. 19, I mean, sorry, 1770s. Yeah, Hobbs Hole. This originally, uh, Jacob Hobbs, a, a style that established a fort here in 1650, and it was called Hobbs Hole for a while. Uh, Calvary Sabre, War of 1812. Spirits Bottle. Some pretty old coins there. And the old chimney brick from Miller's Tavern. And going into the uh, the Rappahannox, the native tribe. And 50 million years ago, da -da -da, 1938, while digging, they found our remains of a Zeglodon. This salamander allig alligator looking thing. Uh, they got up to 60 feet long. Wow, oh, okay. Here's a whalebone vertebrae. And yeah, they uh, found shark's teeth. Up here in the Rappahannock. And uh, I remember seeing uh, a lot of those at the uh, Port Royal Museum. Of course, you got your arrowheads. Yeah, crushing stone. Oh, and this uh, crocodiles, huh? And this looks like one of the John White paintings. And he was one of the settlers at the Lost Colony down there in North Carolina, Roanoke Colony. Roanoke Island. And yeah, that's one of his paintings. And coat of arms from Great Britain. And this is King William. He and his wife Mary were on the throne. That's where William and Mary comes from. And they were on the throne when Essex became a county. And of course I have to check this thing out. It's got his rest in pretty good shape. I assume it's real. Civil War cannon, cheek piece. Oak slabs and the cheek piece. Civil War cannon. Obtained from the Water Valette Arsenal in New York. Uh, something, something, New York. 1864. Yeah, okay, here we go. Three inch ordnance rifle. Uh, the Phoenix Ironworks in Pennsylvania. Hmm. It was at the dedication of the Confederate Memorial, 1909. Okay. And over here. Okay, it looks like it has to do with a lot of the shipping. Oystering. What's the time the river? And Rappahannock River, 195 miles long. And it starts out there by Front Royal at Chester Gap and obviously it leads into the Chesapeake Bay. And all your different warts, uh, wharfs here. There's Tappahannock over here. Steamer. Yeah, doing some oyster and there's that Riverside Hotel again. Oh, and there's the Bowler's Rock, the lighthouse. A rowing skiff, three horsepower wizard. I'll pour it later. Twelve foot long, right skiff. And yeah, the steamboat days, uh, as I had mentioned, that first Patuxent, the exper experimental ship, and then that Rappahannock I had mentioned that went from Fredericksburg to Baltimore. So yeah, went down all the way to the Rappahannock up the uh, up the Chesapeake, uh, then up the Potomac uh, up to Baltimore. So, that would have taken several days, actually. The Anne Arundel loading cows. 
Looks like some receipts. Yeah, the Baltimore and Fredericksburg steamers. Uh, the last steamboat to run the Rappahannock. Uh, there's the uh, the wharf right there. Yeah, like the whole steamboat thing ended in the 1930s, so it was just about 100 years, just over 100 years. It was in existence, and you can see all the stops. <laughs> and I just did my little short on the Wawa set, but that uh, no, that was on the Potomac, so that was further up here. Uh, just a work boat right there. And crabbing, obviously, oystering. These guys are dredging with these tongs. Not dredging, but looking for oysters. Yeah, crab pots are there. There's some tongs right there. Yeah, it's gotta be some tough work doing that. And a steel marker buoy. Jack. Uh, these were used to dredging oysters. Some sheet music here. And uh, summer vacationing. Boiler's Cottage. Oyster plate. Uh, some shucking tools. Right there. And spats. Young oysters less than an inch. Huh. find out what these houses are. Thomas Bowler House. <laughs> oh, here we go. Blackbeard and his booty. And <clears throat> as I've mentioned several times, uh, a hit was put out on Blackbeard by Alexander Spotswood uh, because he was pirating ships leaving the uh, leaving the Chesapeake. He was chased down Oak Croak Island, just south of the Outer Banks, beheaded, and his head was put on display. Oh, yeah, there you go. So, right here is a steamboat, early 1900s. Maryland police steamer, the McLean. And Pooman meets his end. I talked about him when I was in Port Royal. Uh, he was a pirate that was killed on a creek just off the Rappahannock, uh, just a little westbound of here, before you get to Port Royal. And the Oyster Pirates, all right, I talked about them when I was at Colonial Beach, and this guy, the Berkeley Muse, was killed by authorities. He was dredging at night. Dredging was illegal, so people would go out and poach at night. And, uh, yeah, there they are right there. I might do one of my little YouTube shorts on, on that story. And <clears throat> that's pretty good in that. Take a picture of that and read it in detail later. And again, here's the Bowler's Rock Lighthouse. Yeah, and the museum extends out back. There's kind of a little park, I guess. Kind of. Ooh, and I walked through here when I did my walk around the video I made about six months ago on Tappahannock. But a uh, pretty relaxing place to hang out. And this guy here, Max Silver. So this memorial passed away in 1956. And uh, he moved here from the Ukraine, all right? Um, 1909, uh, changed his name. Max Silver, and he saw action in World War II, uh, serving as a platoon sergeant and air raid warden. So, and I, I looked at these plaques when I did the walk around, but I'll tell you real quick, uh, this one goes over just when this was a tobacco port and how it was booming. And uh, at any time back then, there were ships uh, docked out on the water. And over here, the Manning House, uh, where we're standing, was a house owned by a former slave. This guy, uh, Bill Manning, born into slavery, uh, King George County, 1856. 
and he worked in the uh, tugboat uh, worked on a tugboat so yeah Rappahannock River right down there in the condominiums that I was telling you the Rappahannock Hotel was right there but uh yeah it's pretty cold out here so I'm gonna walk back inside all right and there's one little uh, spot that I haven't looked at yet and then I'm gonna head out of here Decent sized gift shop, and over here, research room. Some paintings back here. Some old plates, uh, porcelain plate of Captain Smith. Over here, traveling inkwell, James uh, Mercer Garrett. And a couple of Tappahannock plates uh, over here, the Essex County Woman's Club, 1808. And that was the old Court Clark building right up the road. I, I remember that from. When I did my walk around, and this is Dr. Mullen, and painted by the Sydney King. Uh, a bunch of his artwork is at the Caroline County Museum. If you want to check that out, I did a video on that a few months ago. Uh, it's in Bowling Green. It's like got a, got a lot of good paintings on the uh, on the Civil War. Some grist mills, Croxton's Mill. I think I've heard of that one. And there's the Hobbs Hole, 1680 pretty old drawing if that's a original and it looks like it was right there and Broken Bros as I said big family in the area there was the residence Rappahannock's on the other side of that Rappahannock Hotel to the left Gresham Hotel I don't remember that one the Gray family. Okay, another painting by that Sidney King of the Colonial Church Tower in Jamestown. We got some sheep down there. Not familiar with this guy, Meriwether Smith, Voice of the Revolution. And they had a plantation at Bathurst, uh, torn down in 1938. Family political dynasty uh, began in 1840, Judge Masco Garrett and some of his descendants. Uh, he was elected Virginia governor in 1902. Uh, he was a sheriff, a judge. Okay, Ben Lamont, I've heard of that. I need to see if I can uh, do a walk around. And uh, Philadelphia businesswoman, Flor uh, Florence Madison Hill. She operated her own real estate and insurance agency for over 42 years. OG Clock. And that was at Miller's Tavern. The Fleets. Samuel and Phoebe. All right, guys, that was my walk around of the Essex County Museum. Um, as always, like and subscribe. See you.